finally tonight. Fact or tip of the day. As we mentioned, Talking Points memo, Michelle Obama referenced slaves building the White House and referring to the evolution of America in a positive way. It was a positive comment. The history behind a remark is fascinating. George Washington selected the site in 1791 and is presently the cornerstone in 1792. Washington was then running the country out of Philadelphia. Slaves did participate in the construction of the White House. Records show about 400 payments made to slave masters between 795 and 1801. In addition, free blacks, whites, and immigrants also worked on the massive building. There were no illegal immigrants at that time. If you could make it here, you could stay here. In 1800, President John Adams took up residence in what was then called the Executive Mansion. It was only later on they named it the White House. But Adams was in there with Abigail, and they were still hammering nails. The construction was still going on. Slaves that worked there were well-fed and had decent lodgings provided by the government, which stopped hiring slave labor in 1802. However, the feds did not forbid subcontractors from using slave labor. So Michelle Obama is essentially correct in citing slaves as builders of the White House but there were others working as well. Got it all? There will be a quiz. Just put the uh, quiz, by, and I'll come to your mailbox. And factor tip of the day. All artists in need of hot beats, hit up thelowbeats.com. We got them bangers. Producers who need them high quality sounds, get your professional sound kit with over 11,000 sounds at thelowbeats.com.